Uh, Mike, from such a positive start, just a, a hugely disappointing afternoon in the end. Yes. Um, yeah, I think on, on a lot of fronts with our performance, um, obviously the score lines, what it is. Um, but I think my, my overriding thoughts are they need uh, congratulations and um, over the course of the season and the course of that game, I think some summed it up a little bit. Um, I thought we started really well. I thought we had a lot of control. Um, I thought over the overall levels, I didn't think we did enough to win the game. Um, and I know obviously we're sitting in here with quite a heavy defeat, so it sounds a little bit ludicrous, but I thought um, my my when I look back at the game and I analyse it, it will be more on just reactions to certain periods of the game. Um, I mean, mistakes, mistakes, I can accept that, we go again, but it's just our reaction. Um, and I think early on, I thought we had good control and it was, we kind of um, handed it over a little bit um, without being well and truly comprehensively beaten in the actual, um, I mean, 60, 70 minutes, um, which the scoreline reflects now. But yeah, there was, um, it's a humbling, it's a tough one to take, um, but they deserve you know, a lot of credit for that performance and what they've done over the course of the season. I mean, the last, the last couple gave that the score on you mentioned it, you know, gave it a little bit of a warped look and it's just pushing forward. I mean, you had, you had def the defenders attacking at that point, didn't you? You took the Indians off. It, that does, the amount of time that happens in the history of football where a team, you know, quite close, pushing for an equaliser and, and the score line ends up being quite emphatic. Yeah, so um, like I say, I'm going to analyse certain aspects of the game, the score line. Um, for me, it's irrelevant. We lose 1 0, 2 1. You know, we still get the same amount of points, 4 1, OK, but it's our reaction in games um, because we know our reaction um, to defeat. Um, for the next game has been good, it's been really positive, but we've got to make that in-game um, and we've got to make sure that our habits that we are trying to create are instilled no matter what the momentum or the opposition or what's at stake um, and then ultimately the scoreline, whatever that is, we've just got to make sure that we don't come away because as soon as we allow ourselves, our attention to be, uh, to drift, then we can, um, yeah, we, we can fall apart a little bit. So there's so much for us to get our teeth into and to digest. Um, but the lads give everything. They're, they're hurting in there, as you would expect. They're gutted. Um, and it's for us now just to, to suffer, um, but make sure that that suffering doesn't last for too long and we objectively look at it and make sure that um, we come in on Monday and we dust ourselves down and there's still a lot to play for. There is still a lot to play for and that probably means an extension of the season. Um, you've had playoff campaigns at Gateshead before. When you get to a stage like this, by next Saturday you'll, you, you may know for certain that it's, that it's done and it is the playoff. playoffs. Do you start to look that far ahead or you, you, will you just focus on Harrogate, in, in, uh, analysing this game and Harrogate in, in, a, in a week? So I think it's only natural for, you know, players and staff supporters to speculate and to look forward, and and that's part of you know that's part of the journey for the supporters, and they should they should try and um, relish and get excited and um, look forward to that. I think our job is about if we can be better because we talk you know in cliches, and I've just said to the boys there of like well, we have to learn, so we either win. Um, or we learn, but some people, some teams won't learn and just keep repeating. So that's something we've just got to stay extremely focused on that. If we can learn from what happened today and go into Harrogate and then after the Harrogate game, we are a better um, outfit and we've got more understanding, more discipline, then that takes into the last game. And if we can replicate that, obviously we're just in the best position. So very simple and logical, not easy to do because we're emotional beings. And you know, it's again now, um, never too high, never too low. It's easy for us to catastrophize it and feel like it's the end of the world. Um, but we've, it's a game of football and we've, there's still a lot more football to play for and a lot to be positive about. As a centre back yourself, you probably wouldn't be too pleased by the first two goals that you conceded today. Um, yeah, I think 
from front to back, I think always talk about a clean sheet as 11. Um, and there's no, no culprits, no one to blame. Um, if anyone, it's me. I'll, I'll always take the, the flack for um, the lads not understanding or making mistakes because we asked them to play like that. And that's me, solely me. Um, so I can accept certain things. But what I, I want to keep trying to ingrain into the boys is just like we all make mistakes and that's just human. But we allow emotions to cloud our judgment for the rest of the game then we're, we're, we're all weaker for it so it's gone the next action um, but you know for me we defend from the front we attack from the back that's always going to be our motto